How's it going today, friends? So, a little bit more of a serious note today. Um, I've noticed a lot of people, a lot of people the last couple of days and, and the last few months for sure, really, really struggling. I mean, really, really struggling. And one thing that we don't do enough of is pay attention to our own needs, our own mental state. Um, and this is something that hits really, really close to home too, because I too have really struggled the last couple of weeks. I mean, you guys have seen it in the content. It's, I don't stream as much. I don't do as much as I used to. And the thing that I really, really need to point out to people is don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't, don't be afraid to speak your mind and say, Hey, I'm not okay. You know, there's, there's a lot of times where we get so caught up in, in thinking that we can't burden other people. But the reality is those burdens, what you think is a burden is it's relationship, it's companionship, it's relying on people to help you when you need it the most. And that's not a bad thing. That's not weakness. That's not, uh, that's not being subpar. It's not being anything other than being human. And it, it, it really strikes home because like I said, the last couple of weeks, I've really been struggling, but to drive it home even further, look at the fact that over the last year, because of COVID and everything else happening this year, just how many people are struggling? How many people are having a hard time? How many people have changed from what you knew? And, you know, if you notice someone who's struggling or someone says that they're having a hard time, don't, don't do anything but try and help. Even if it's as simple as just lending an ear so that they can vent and talk. And guys, if you're one of the ones who who are struggling right now, who are really having a hard time keeping uh, your head above the water, don't be afraid to reach out. Do not be afraid to reach out. There's all sorts of help available. And while it is kind of harder to get in and see some professionals right now with all the COVID crap going on, it doesn't mean that there aren't options. Down below, I'll make sure that I put out a list for you guys, whether it's phone calls that you can make or websites that you can visit. Um, but don't be afraid to don't be afraid to sit there and actually talk to somebody. You know, that it's it's so underrated and society as a whole has really pushed us to internalizing these issues. And I'm going to tell you from experience, that's not a good thing. It doesn't work out. It doesn't play out in a good way for anybody. And it's really, really hard to see people going through that, especially when you can see it and they refuse to acknowledge it themselves. You know, I, I had a specific person this week who I know that they really struggle and I know that they have a hard time. And every time, every time, it's it's the same conversation, don't get me wrong, but every time it sticks a little bit better because I don't have to say things as long. You know, and if you notice somebody in a situation, or if you're feeling like you're in that situation, make sure, make sure that you're reaching out, make sure that you're putting the information out there and doing what you can to help them. Because our time is short as it is. And you really, really don't know what you have until it's gone. So there's, there's no... There's no right way, there's no wrong way to do any of this. It's just do the way that works for you. But don't hold stuff in, guys. Don't internalize. Reach out. Ask for help. Say I'm not okay. You're human. You're not going to be 100% all the time. And if you are, you're never going to be happy either. I'll tell you this much. As, as much as these times suck and as much as these situations really really hit home I'm thankful for it too because I've really kind of learned how to 
Uh, not kind of. I've really learned how to appreciate this stuff that I do enjoy. And I will say from experience that once you start working through the things that are bothering you, once you start working through some of these issues, once you start really getting a grasp on why you're feeling the way you are, things do get better. You know, things get brighter. You find new ways to to grow and to do better. And, you know, we, we used to have a saying in this channel and we don't, um, we don't, we don't say it as much anymore. Maybe we should say it a little bit more. Uh, look good, feel good, do good. You know, when, in this case, you know, when you, when you start pushing yourself to do things better, when you start doing things like just daily showering and putting on some of your favorite clothes or maybe wearing your hat or putting your hair your favorite way, you know, really do your makeup if that's what you're into, you're going to start to feel a little bit better. But the key point here, guys, is make sure that you are reaching out. Make sure that if you are struggling, say something to someone, right? You don't have to do it alone. So don't force yourself to do it alone. You're never alone. Guys, have a wonderful, wonderful week. And we'll see you next time. Just remember, guys, if you're enjoying what you see here, share it with your friends. Hit that like button down below. Make sure you subscribe. And of course, enable notifications to find out when the latest stuff is all posted. Guys, have a wonderful night, and we'll see you real soon.